Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Tenvas. In this session, so we are going to discuss one interview question. So that is, why an abstract cannot be final, and why abstract cannot be static? To see the question, the question is, why abstract cannot be final? cannot be final and next y abstract cannot be static cannot be static is the question so very simple answer see suppose here it is we need to discuss a parent child relation the class we are taking parent class is a parent class inside the parent class inside the parent class here it is we are declaring one method so method is a method is a general method is a non static method we are taking and here so that is abstract method of course abstract void m1 abstract void m1 and here it is we are declaring so one more method abstract void m2 two methods so we are declaring okay and here it is we are taking child class class child class child and of course it is extending in parent class the first one why abstract cannot be final suppose here so what is the rule of abstract method and of course if you write one abstract method class is abstract class only na so that is basic put aside here our concept is why can't we define abstract method as a final method means a strict rule if there is a specification in any class specification means what no definition just declaration any specification in the parent class that you have to implement implementation means what providing body so more technically overriding concept we have to override that m1 method in the child class generally we do like this so here so void void m1 void m1 so this is what we called overriding overriding or we can call it as implementing just providing definition simply this is declaration and this is definition so here it is okay but see so whenever we are declaring we are declaring it as a final as a final so what is final actually what is final simple thing so final modifier is restricts updation permissions updation permissions final means what it's a fixed object we know that right you can access the functionality of that object but please don't update okay you cannot update a final object functionality so whenever you are declaring it as a final then how can you override here how can you update overriding in the sense updating the functionality only how can you override impossible so that's why final and abstract is not allowed this is illegal combination of modifiers this is what illegal combination so uh, in that case also they will ask the question so tell me one illegal combination of modifiers in java you can say final and abstract is illegal combination of modifiers illegal combination of modifiers is the first one sir it is okay the final and abstract is clear but now so very confusing thing sir why sir abstract method we cannot declare it as a static so why sir so whenever i am trying to write a static and abstract it is also showing that same error sir it is illegal combination of modifiers illegal combination of modifiers so tell me what is the reason the best example best example first we should know what is the difference between static and non static suppose here static means static means it's a common functionality 
static means it is common functionality of object common so nothing but more than one object can access its free access and uh, non static means what is a specific non static means what is a specific it is specific to a particular object sir one example suppose in bank application account number and balance so both are specific to a particular account holder so no one can share but see just consider ifsc code ifsc code is not particular for one account holder na it's common so more than one account holder will share that common thing generally the parent class is having common functionality if one thing is common you better to declare it as a static suppose one thing is not common for all so that we should declare here we should declare here as an abstract and we will define in the next implementation abstract means almost specific specific okay means what if one functionality is common for all you better to declare it as a static only if you are not defining in the parent class means what what is the meaning it's not common for all the childs it is specific to a particular child it is specific to a particular child see here it is a specific in the sense is a non static na then how can you add static and non static combinedly nothing but how can you add static and abstract static means it's common abstract means what it's a specific to a particular thing right you are saying one is a common and one is a specific then how can you combine impossible so that's why abstract and static you cannot combine okay so one is a common one is a common and one is a specific specific and here it is you can't say for example so take one area in naresh it reception you take if your first statement is reception is a common area reception is a common area nothing but reception is a static area you please go and access first statement is very happy next come to that second statement again followed by you are giving one statement reception is a non static area if you want to access that reception please take permissions how the people will allow right the two statements one after another you just said right reception is a static area and followed by again you are saying right means what reception is a non static area how they will allow so definitely they will reject so that's why common and specific you cannot combine nothing but static and abstract you cannot combine so illegal combination okay hope it is very clear why why can't we use a final and abstract combinedly and why can't we use a static and abstract combinedly so this is the reason okay so thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you thank you all